Hooks continuing to drive, standing by for physical separation. Physical separation. Physical separation confirmed at 5.55 a.m. Central Time, 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time as the International Space Station flew 260 miles over northern China. The pier's docking compartment is free from the International Space Station that had been its home for the past 20 years. 205 for the primary program, uh, command 40 not required. Having arrived at the station back on September 16, 2001, the pier's docking compartment and the attached ISS Progress 77 backing away from the international outpost. Again, undocking occurring at 5.55 a.m. Central Time, 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time over northern China. Standing by for a uh, thruster firing burn by the Progress to uh, increase its opening rate with the pier's docking compartment away from the docking port to which uh, the combined spacecraft had been attached to. And the uh, separation burn is now underway. And the burn is complete. Good burn. International Space Station flying over Mongolia. Everything continuing to go well with the departure of Progress and Piers. So the docking port now open for the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module, which is expected to uh, link up to that Earth-facing port on Thursday morning. The deorbit burn uh, by the Progress's engines is expected just over three hours from now.
And again, that will be a 17 minute, 37 second deorbit burn, a braking maneuver to slow progress and peers down by 425 meters per second, allowing it to drop out of orbit for its destructive entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Throughout the course of its two decades at the International Space Station, the Piers Docking Compartment served as a, a docking port for dozens of Progress and Soyuz vehicles that arrived at the station, as well as uh, an airlock for dozens of Russian-based spacewalks. That uh, mantle now to be inherited by the Nyoka Multipurpose Laboratory Module. Unsell station on two. Do you mind if I start the active watch setup? Hey, Mark, you are go to start the active watch. Copy, thanks. Even as dynamic operations are continuing, uh, Mark Van de Heij aboard the International Space Station, part of the Expedition 65 crew, talking to payload controllers at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. The crew continuing uh, its Monday morning complement of uh, maintenance work and scientific research. Progress and peers flying over southeastern Russia, about uh, to enter an orbital sunset and about to, to begin a track from northwest to southeast.
to recap, um, everything uh, has gone off uh, on time with the uh, departure of the ISS Progress 77 cargo craft and the attached piers dock and compartment ending uh, its 20-year run at the International Space Station, soon to be deorbited to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere less than three hours from now. Undocking occurring uh, over northern China at 5.55 a.m. Central Time, 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time. Later today, uh, robotic uh, ground controllers here at Mission Control in Houston will um, send commands to uh, walk off the Canadarm2 robotic arm onto a grapple fixture on the Zarya module to begin a detailed video survey of the vacant docking port, ensuring uh, that there's nothing untoward uh, that the Russian flight controllers would see to impede uh, the on-time arrival of the Nyoka multipurpose laboratory module planned for docking to that port on Thursday morning. Progress and piers now uh, over the northwestern Pacific Ocean, beginning a swing from northwest to southeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator, soon to enter an orbital sunset. Everything went uh, very smoothly with uh, today's undocking of piers. which first arrived at the International Space Station on September 16th, 2001. Here in Mission Control, uh, flight controllers are uh, continuing to watch uh, the Progress 77 cargo craft uh, back away slowly but surely from the International Space Station. 
It will uh, continue to do so for uh, the next uh, two orbits to a safe distance away from the station for the initiation of the firing of its engines in a 17 minute 37 second deorbit burn. A braking maneuver retrograde that will allow uh, the progress and the attached piers docking compartment to slow down